What's going on everybody? Real Estate Randy here and today's video is 10 home buying myths that we need to get to the bottom to. All right, and if that sounds interesting to you, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will have all the information down in the description below, all my contact information. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Myth number 10, my home mortgage payment is going to stay the same throughout the entirety of the loan. Okay, look. You have a fixed rate, your principal and interest will stay the same, but your taxes and your insurance will change throughout the years. So keep that in mind when you're budgeting out for your home mortgage. Myth number nine, pre-qualified is the same as pre-approved. It's just absolutely not true. Pre-qualified is so generic, all they're really doing is checking to see your credit score and how much income you make. And if, you, if, if it works, you're good. Here's how much we think you can qualify for. A pre-approval is when they actually go in depth and they take documents from you, they get payment statements, they get your debt, they look at your credit score a little bit deeper, and then you find an actual true number of what you can qualify for and if you are in fact approved or declined. So make sure that we go for the pre-approval, not the pre-qualification. Myth number eight, location is the most important factor. Here's the thing, whatever little neighborhood's hot today, might not be hot tomorrow, okay? One of the things that I like to let my clients know is that we might wanna look to see which way our city is growing, and therefore we can get ahead of the curve, right? So if you're purchasing a, home, uh, purchasing a home in a location that might not have all the amenities and all the exciting things right now today, but you know that the city is actually growing in that direction, that might actually be the best option because you're going to purchase a home at a very lower price than you would in these prime hot market areas. And then in a few years when all that's built up and all those amenities are there, that has a very large potential to increase your equity. But who knows how much? So just remember that location is not always the most important. Myth number seven, you can get everything on your wish list. I'm sorry to tell you, unless you're going to fork out a lot of bread and build custom, complete custom homes, more than likely, you're not gonna get everything on your wish list. I personally like to tell my clients, give me three to five things that are must-haves, the other things will be other luxury. If we can get them, we can get them, if we can't, we can't, okay? Three to five things that are your most important things that you have to have in your home, and after that, anything you get is a plus. Myth number six. You can't qualify for a home loan with student loans. It's not true, okay? Yes, there are going to be some cases where you cannot qualify for a government loan because you might be behind on your student loans, but as long as you're not behind, even if you are in deferment, you still have the chance to qualify for a home loan. Typically with deferments, what they do is they do an estimate, and I think it's around 1%, so if you owe $100,000, they're gonna assume you have to pay $1,000 a month. They're gonna take that and subtract that from your income. And as long as your debt to income ratio is still good to go, you can still qualify for a home loan. So don't let that be the reason you don't find out if you can qualify for a home or not. Myth number five, you only have to pay down payment. Sorry, it's not the case. There's closing costs too. This can be anywhere up to $7,000. It could be higher than that, depending on the price point. There are other costs that go into purchasing a home. The great thing is, if you're working with a really good realtor, such as myself, you can actually get those negotiated to where those are a zero cost to you or very minimal compared to what they would be. So just keep in mind there are other costs besides just your down payment costs, okay? Myth number four, you need a perfect credit score. No, you don't. No, okay? Pre-pandemic, you can get down payment assistance with 620, 640, around that, around that range. And then you also have home loans that you qualify for with a 580 if you have your own down payment, okay? Now, um, during this pandemic, some mortgage lenders have changed their policies as far as qualifying for um, down payment assistance, but you won't know unless you find out, right? So it's always good to check. You don't need a perfect credit score. You don't need that 780 or 800 to qualify for a home. Myth number three, you shouldn't talk to a realtor until you're ready to buy. 
here's the thing guys this is what we do every single day okay this is what we do we know the process inside and out why not feed off of our knowledge to help your purchasing experience be as smooth and easy as possible there might be things that you didn't even know that could help you get in a position quicker to purchase a home opposed to you just trying to figure it all out by yourself there's no reason to do that realtors to buyers are absolutely free you know we don't charge y'all commissions we get that from the selling side so therefore utilize a realtor to help you through the purchasing even before you are right there ready to purchase a home Myth number two you don't need a realtor like I said, man, we're absolutely free to you. Why not utilize this? I don't know, um, before I became a realtor, I didn't understand the contracts. I bought a house, didn't understand the contracts. You know, I just signed whatever they told me to sign. I didn't understand the lingo. I was lost on a lot of this stuff. So why not utilize a realtor for free who understands what's going on and can walk you through everything for free 99. Just makes sense to me. Myth number one, you need 20%, 20% down to purchase a home. I don't know how this ever started. Maybe this was the case back in the 70s or 80s. I have no idea, but um, it's crazy how many people still think that you need 20% down. Most of the time with a lot of FHA loans, you can get in with 3.5%. Yes, there are loans out there that's putting you down for 15 and uh, 20%, but majority of my clients are at 3.5%, if at all, because there's a lot of programs in place to help you with down payment assistance to where you don't have to pay the down payment. There's VA loans, they don't have no down payment. There's USDA loans, if you're purchasing outside of city limits that you can qualify for that has no down payments. So there are many different options and tools for you to utilize to help take care of that down payment. But the 20% thing, that's not a common occurrence, okay? So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. If you want me to cover anything specifically, put it in the comments below. I will have my contact information down in the, um, so the description as well and I'll probably flash my phone number somewhere around here so um, if you are in the Austin or San Antonio areas please reach out to your boy if you're looking to buy or sell a home as always I hope you have a great day and stay